A retired Navy SEAL from Morristown has developed a new tool he says can stop sh school shootings. It's called Zero Eyes. It uses cameras and artificial intelligence to spot weapons before a shooter can enter a school. It's already installed in one school in New Jersey, and now that Navy SEAL wants to bring the technology to schools in Tennessee. Tennessee's reporter Cole Sullivan shows us how it works. Cole? Robin and John, this technology plugs into existing cameras in schools. If the computer thinks it sees a gun, it can immediately alert authorities. Caleb Jones set out to solve the toughest problem facing the country. I can't think of a, a more difficult problem to solve or a more impactful problem than the violence that we're seeing in schools today. So after 10 years in the Navy SEALs, three tours to Afghanistan, Yemen, and Europe, the Morristown East graduate was tired about hearing stories of school shootings. Something has to be done now, and nothing's really being done. He, along with a team of 10, have now developed zero eyes. In a nutshell, it's a weapon is seen on a camera. The computer identifies that and sends the alert. This is it in action. You can see the alerts popping up on the right side of the screen. When the system thinks it sees a gun, it can alert the principal, school resource officers, and 911 dispatchers. A computer never gets complacent. As long as it's on, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It sends screenshots so officers can tell what the potential shooter is wearing, what kind of weapon they have, and where they are in the building. It's designed to minimize false positives, meaning a tennis racket, ruler, or lacrosse stick won't trigger an alert. Again, if you're holding a stick like a gun, uh, even the humans going to be like, hey, is that a gun? A new technology designed to stop shootings before they happen. Even if it tanked in a year or so, if we could save one life, I would call it the, the greatest success of, you know, my life. Jones says they work closely with school districts on the price of the technology. Their goal is to make sure this product gets in as many schools as possible. 